As impressive as they might be, most of our technologies are not initially recognized for their full range of possibilities. It's partly because we are sometimes held back by what we already know. For example, when plastics were first introduced, they mimicked existing natural materials. They were made to look like ivory or ebony or tortoise shell. It was not until much later in the development of plastic technology that the fundamental properties of the technology enabled wholly new objects, objects, designs, things that we could never have conceived previously, for better or for worse. <laughs> Similarly, our digital technologies have completely changed so many facets of our lives. But the tools that we use to access that digital world still bear a shocking resemblance to the technologies that came before them, the television and the typewriter. It's only now, after nearly 50 years, that we're starting to branch out for these. With new technologies, as we're so entertainingly already demonstrated today. But the question is, if we tend to start out with a new technology by designing what we already know, how can we create what we don't know? How can we create wholly new things that enable the untapped power of a technology? One way is by accident. We've all heard stories about things like penicillin, post-it notes, or Play-Doh. These are all happy accidents that occurred while their creators were actually working on something else. But we can't rely on accidents to show us new directions for the technologies that we have access to. How can we engage with technologies so that we're thinking about the fundamental nature of what they can allow us to do, rather than simply their intended use? Artists do this. Artists work with their materials and push them in new directions. And technology artists have a natural uh, practice of using technology in unorthodox ways to create new things. So I'm going to share four examples of projects that I've worked on where we've used technology in unexpected ways to put new things into the world. This is a light fountain. It's a curved black steel surface. And on the surface sit three stones. Around the stones, move. Thank you. Around the stones, there are traces of living light that move and seek out the stones and follow them and orbit around them as the stones are moved on the surface. Now, to create this piece, we used some pretty standard technology, a camera and a projector, and some software to tie it together. But the result is unusual enough that people look at this and often ask us, how is this even possible? So here's an example where the possibility space of the projector was expanded by considering the projector as a medium to explore, where the projector's innate ability to augment the surfaces and the objects around us took us further than its intended use of just making larger images on the wall. This piece is a, a table that was an exploration of design, of modern design, clean lines, clean materials, smooth materials, considering that in contrast with ornamental design. It's a table that holds a secret. When it's approached, the surface comes to life with hidden images and intricate patterns. Now, the technology that we used for this piece, capacitive sensing, is a similar technology to what's used in touch screens um, and in tablet computers. But when we first started playing with this particular sensor, it had a very sci-fi feel. It had white LEDs that were blinky and blocky. And we ended up, for this piece, developing new algorithms for interpolating and creating the light in a way that was much more natural and much more warm and had a better sense for this particular piece. So it worked well for this piece, and it turns out it also worked well 
for the company that made the technology. They ended up using those algorithms in the next version of their product. So here's an example where the needs of the artwork drove the development of the technology in a different direction than it was already going. This piece, we were asked to work with uh, solar power. And so when we started looking at the fundamental properties of solar panels, we ended up um, becoming entranced by the mathematics of the sun and its motion through the sky, the angles at which it travels from season to season, and the connection to the efficiency of solar panels. So each of these shafts is at a different angle that corresponds to a different time of the year, and each of these shafts collects solar energy during the day. At night, the piece comes to life with a light show of patterns, a performance that is driven by the power of the sun. Now, the patterns that it plays are actually created by a worldwide community on a website. People can submit patterns, and they can create, compose them like they're composing music, submitting patterns that then come to life each night driven by the sun. So it's a collaboration between the community and the sun. And it's also an example of an opportunity for the physical form of the artwork in this case to reflect some of the fundamental properties of the photovoltaic technology. The last piece I'll show is uh, hanging in an airport. It's an abstract time piece that represents the elasticity of time, as we often feel it when we are uh, traveling you know, in places like an airport. So 65 of these robotic nodes hang from the ceiling above travelers' heads, and they're choreographed, uh, moving. They, they, they get moved by these high-precision motors. Now, we worked closely with the company that developed these motors to choreograph the movement of these nodes so that they can represent uh, what we wanted to do with our concept of elastic time in an abstract timepiece. So we created the piece, but we also ended up creating a very visible demonstration of capabilities for this technology that were, that were advanced networking capabilities that aren't normally seen in the industrial applications for which these motors are used. So whether it's motors or projectors or photovoltaic cells, any technology can be considered as a raw medium, and if we look at its fundamental properties, it can drive us to new things beyond their intended use. So if you have a technology for which you're looking to shift your perspective and see where it takes you, find a way to get it into the hands of an artist. Thank you.